So Section 8 publishes income limits, and in the past they published income limits that were used for a whole list of programs, Section 8, home funds, welfare exemption, as well as tax credits and tax-exempt bonds. But then in 2008, the Herod legislation was passed, and because of this, tax credits and tax-exempt bonds now have new rules that apply differently than the Section 8 program. But Section 8 didn't do anything with these new rules until the income limits came out on February 13th of 2009. Now, on February 13th of 2009, they split the limits into two. And so now HUD publishes two different sets of income limits. The Section 8 limits, which are still used for Section 8, home funds, welfare exemptions, and a lot of other programs. And MTSP limits, which are used for tax credits and tax exempt bonds only. Now, we're say only because those are the only ones who are statutorily allowed to use these limits, but there might be other programs that tie into these, which we'll talk about later. And so at this point, we were broken off into two different sets of income limits, but we still had hold harmless. So it wasn't that big of an issue in the industry yet because all it did, it gave us hair special income limits. So then 2010, that's when we had a lot of changes because HUD did away with the hold harmless policy for the Section 8 program. And what this means is previously, HUD would publish one income limit for the county and that income limit would never decrease from year to year. If the underlying factors decreased, HUD would hold that limit harmless. But in 2010, they said, well, we've only been holding this harmless primarily for tax credits and tax exempt bond projects. And now that they have their own statutory hold harmless, we're going to do away with our hold harmless policy. But the issue is the tax credit hold harmless policy, the MTSP hold harmless policy for tax credits and tax exempt bonds is a project-based rule and not an area-based rule. And we'll go into a lot of slides later that talk about that change and what that means for our projects, but it's important to know that starting last year, Section 8 no longer publishes their limits with the hold harmless policy.